Okay, so let's go through and have a look at how you can give ChatGPT live internet access. So most people using ChatGPT know that it has limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021. But what if you could connect ChatGPT to the internet now? Live internet access. Well, you can. There is a Chrome extension. So if you go to the Chrome Web Store, you'll see Web Chat GPT, Chat GPT with Internet Access Chrome extension. So go there, pause this, go there and install that and then come back when you're at this screen. So you'll see your Chat GPT screen has changed and down at the bottom, you now have Web Access. Same ChatGPT, but now your ChatGPT is connected to the internet. How cool is that? Okay, so let's test this out. I've just pulled up the BBC News page from today, and there is a salad shortage that could last until May. Oh no, the world is going to end. So let's go over to ChatGPT. So you'll see the current date as I'm recording this is the 24th of February. So I've asked it to write a news story about the salad shortage in the UK that could last until May. And it went through and it did that. And you'll see it gave its its references and, and where it, it came from. So you see that's the that's today's date. And it is, has given a, a referenced a news article from February, one we don't know the date, and one from just two days ago. And so if we scroll down, we can see what it came up with. And I will do this live in a second as well. But if you go down to the bottom of the screen where you have your web access, you have certain number of results that you can come up with. You can specify the date range, well, at least broadly and any region. So a whole bunch of different countries that you might choose and default prompt or a new prompt. So if we go over here and we regenerate the results. So I'm recording this now for you in real time. So you can see how long or <laughs> how short it took a, an amount of time for a chat GPT to go online, reference the news articles and write a brand new news article about the salad shortage in the United Kingdom that was just reported a few hours ago. So let's go through and it does its thing and it types away very very merrily it types a lot faster than do i <laughs> so it's going through it's writing its news article so again as i said you're seeing this in real time oh and of course yes please subscribe and like we'd very much like that and so there you have it there is connecting chat gpt live to the internet so have fun with it bye